watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. And the last time I had Shana Barnes in the studio, we were doing election coverage yes. two years ago. Yes. But we're not here to do that. We're here to talk about Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. That is correct. Which is your sorority. Yes. Which is Gwen Knowles' sorority. Yes. She's going to come on afterwards and do a promotion specific, but you're going to talk kind of general what the sorority is, the kind of the area, the area code, I guess. Okay. Um, and I know you, have, you, your sorority is very active. Yes. Always has been. We've promoted different events before. We've covered events before. Right. What's new? Tell us the latest and greatest. Right. So um, every year, actually, um, our particular chapter, and actually the, the chapters in the what's called the tri-state, uh, which encompasses Massachusetts, uh, Connecticut, I believe, and I think New Hampshire. They, mm -hmm. they, I, I kind of get them uh, a little mixed up with, with, with what's going on in the eastern region where we are. Uh, our particular chapter, Norfolk Plymouth County Area Alumni Chapter, which services uh, several of the South Shore counties, um, you know, of course, Norfolk Plymouth, Barnstable, Dukes County. Um, uh, what are the other counties that we have? Just, it's just I think there, there are seven of them that we, we okay. encompass, and then we do public service. Uh, activities and we have what's called May Week and um, we that's when we really target um, our service area and our community so our particular chapter Norfolk Plymouth County Area Alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated our May Week uh, is going to be from May 4th mm -hmm. until May 11th and uh, we Gwen's gonna come on and talk to you a little bit more particularly about one particular uh, event that's now celebrating a decade uh, of, of service okay. uh, in in the area, but for the in general our May Week um, events we have a Mother's Day brunch celebrating mothers, um, celebrating um, you know, stepmothers, mother figures. Sure. Uh, we also have um, some activities that are geared towards voter registration, uh, home buyers uh, uh, sessions. We also are focusing this year too on domestic violence okay. and how we can partner with some of the domestic violence agencies around in the area. And also um, one of our, our, our jewels in the May Week uh, events is called Embody. And that's where, as a sorority, we're all female. Right. So we have partnered with several of the fraternities in the area um, and also the Boston alumni chapter of Del Sigma Theta to put on a conference for young boys. Okay. And uh, having the elders in the community uh, teach the young boys, I guess last year they did um, How to Tie a Tie Mm -hmm. Very, very integral, and you know, as these boys grow up and start getting jobs, and you know, wanting to do things in their future, and just you know, being more professional. Uh, also, just you know, how to be a man. As mm -hmm. women, we can't teach men, uh, teach boys how to be a man. How to, so, how to treat women, I would think too. I'm pretty sure that that's in one of their sessions. Okay. Um, again, you know, it's boys only, so right, you know, right. they they have that camaraderie that they share uh, during the Embody conference, and that's going to actually be on the 11th. Okay. Um, at Northeastern University. And Which is your alma mater. It is, it yeah. is, it is. I'm, I'm all in here, I'm all through, I'm threaded all the way through. Um, and, and you know, definitely we'll get you the information on uh, when it's, it's an all day conference, I think it's from like eight to five. Okay. Uh, they have lunch provided. Uh, we're looking for boys from the South Shore to, okay. to attend um, and get this information. From, from what I understand last year, uh, it was very, very influential. The boys didn't want to leave. Conference was over. I think they stayed over an, they an hour. To stay. Yeah, yeah, they wanted to stay because they were getting so much from the guys. Is this all on a website? Um, I believe so, and I will definitely share that with you so that okay. you know the, the community will, put will be able to refer screen. to that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because that's everybody gets their information. I'm assuming you guys have like a Facebook page. We do. An Instagram. And we all do. That, we right? we totally do. We do. And um, it's Norfolk Plymouth County Area Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated on Facebook. Um, we have our, our also our Instagram, and I believe the website uh, is NPCAAC. We'll I figure it out. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get it, write it down. We'll yeah, it's a thing. It up uh, there. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> so you got to use all this, uh, the sorority letters. Yes, yes. Right? This is my nice shirt. Nice T-shirt. Thank you. Nice T-shirt, red and black, northeastern colors, right? Right. Like Brockton colors. Uh, exactly, exactly. Are, but our, our colors are actually crimson and cream. Oh, but, crimson um, and cream. Yes. But, okay, so do, is, are there any of the activities, and I know Gwen's going to talk about that specifically, yes. that are in Brockton. Is there anything in Brockton that you know of? Yes, so um, the event that Gwen is going to talk about, that is in Brockton. Um, let's see, so the Mother's Day brunch, Monday, uh, is the 
home buyer, I believe the home buyers is going to be, uh, we're partnering with Harbor One. Okay. We did that last year as well. We had a really great turnout uh, okay. with that. And I think a lot of things came from that, educating people on how right. to you know, be credit worthy, how to apply for loans, how to get a house. Uh, the Tuesday event, which I believe is voter registration, I think we're going to be at the Market Basket. Okay. Because um, I know that the different sororities teamed up the last time. Two sororities teamed up to do voter registration. That was in Randolph. Yeah, all f yeah four, four, the four of them yes, That's right. The four sororities that encompass what's called the Divine Nine mm -hmm. of the traditionally black Greek letter organizations. We got together, uh, and that's Delta Sigma Theta, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Sigma Gamma Rho uh, Sorority Incorporated, and Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. We got together and we kind of formed this D9 sisterhood nice. um, where we go out and just collaborate. I mean, why, why split the, split the, the, the work? We can all sure. come together. We're all doing the same thing. We all have the same goals. Sisterhood, scholarship, and service. Those are our main tenets um, for all of the sororities. And, and the fraternities are brotherhood, um, scholarship, and service. So we figured we can all come together and, and try to get people registered to vote. We all know voting is extremely important, as we learned oh, yes, we very recently, and as I think going forward, uh, you know, people are really, really getting engaged in voting, and we want to make sure that we get our young people uh, to register to vote and to understand the significance of voting. So you've been involved in this all the way back to freshman year in college, I would. Assume. Um, actually, no. So no. yeah, no. So I it's joined. It's an alumni chapter. Right? That is correct. So Norfolk Plymouth County, Norfolk Plymouth County Area Alumni Chapter uh, is an alumni chapter, as you said. And then we do have several uh, collegiate chapters around the area. Um, but I actually joined. Uh, um, was it April? April twenty second, uh, two thousand. I think I crossed at twelve thirty one uh, in the afternoon. Wow. Well, good <laughs> in memory. the afternoon. And, um, but, they, and, you know, as, as traditional black Greek letter organizations, it's not just college. It's okay. not just a college setting. Um, our mission is to take what we learn uh, from our college, you know, secondary school, primary school, secondary school, college, and our professional careers, and to uh, contribute to the organizations and, and put those things that we've learned and put them into the organization so that we can uh, advance the agenda of the organization and our mission, uh, which is intelligence is the, is the torch of wisdom. And that's, what, that's how we go forward in life. That's what we, we try to make sure that, that people understand that, and that goes with the scholarship and the service. That's, those are our mm -hmm. tenets. That's what we do. Uh, so, you know, you, you kind of figure things out. Uh, you know, depending on what organization you'd like to join, what information that, that you're, you're into. And Delta Sigma Theta actually spoke to me and spoke to, to the things that I held dear and that I hold dear. Um, and I felt that what I could contribute, what I felt like I, can, I could contribute uh, would better serve in Delta Sigma Theta. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, we're glad to have you and help you promote this. And uh, maybe we'll be at one of the events with a camera. You never know. I'm assuming that you will. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let, okay. Let's check on it. All right. Thank, you'll be there. <laughs> thanks, Shannon. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.